I'm so excited. I'm going to ask you about your work as well, okay? Great, perfect. <laughs> All right. I think we're live, so perfect, perfect. Um, hello, hello, everybody, guys. I'm so excited. We're just spontaneously here with Jen and talking about, of course, uh, the future and futurists and visionaries. And as we started sort of talking about, you know, our connections and everything, I said, well, let's go on Facebook, let's go into our group and let's actually do it in front of people because what we want, we want to inspire people for positive future because I was just sharing with Jen here that, you know, as a, as a visionary myself, I had, you know, 12 years ago, I did a project with uh, artists from around the world. And when we explored future, people came up with a lot of dark visions. It, it was very apocalyptic. And I feel like, you know, that because we're almost living it right now, like, I mean, this is, feels like this at least, so much chaos, so much pain, so much hurt around, and we need to recover. And when I myself started looking into futuristic ideas again, it was so much light. And Jen was just sharing with me um, that her discoveries and the people she was following also very, very positive in the outlook. And I was like, Jen, we have to talk about it with people because <laughs> this is exactly my message. I want to take people to the better, brighter future. And we have to start getting inspired and getting ourselves out of this doom and gloom. And with that hope comes the energy. So Jen, first of all, can you introduce yourself? Tell us. Yes, gladly. This is so fun. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jen Ailey. I'm a business and prosperity coach for creative and holistic entrepreneurs who have a beautiful vision and want to bring more heart to the world. Yes. And I yeah. love this conversation. Yeah. So um, just to give weight to everything you're going to say to us. So your TED talk had been uh, selected for TED out of TEDx. Can you tell us where were you on TEDx and where can people find you so they can look yeah, you up? Yeah, so my website is J-E-N-A-L-Y coaching.com. Uh, and my name is just J-E-N-A-L-Y. And like your name is really short. So sometimes people expect me to say more. Um, and my TED talk was chosen as, you know, so the, basically when you do a TED talk, you do a TEDx talk, then TED can choose it to be on their platform, you know, and it's only 10% that are chosen. So that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, and they put mine in the activist category and it was very, very vision driven because it's, it's helping people recover from like damping down their creativity and intuition really, because yeah. the school systems mostly focus on, you know, logic and all the things that they test. And, and so we have to relearn to, to reclaim our creativity and to, uh, to own that and trust it and use it for innovation and trust what we can create from it together as well. So we can create something different. And that's where I focus my energy because I don't want to focus on what could happen because the, what we focus on is what we're creating together. Exactly. Exactly. I love it. So please, everybody go check out Jen's uh, TED talk because it is about how creativity gets you there, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's called Harness Creativity is Your Greatest Business Asset. Oh, fantastic. And of course, a lot of people who are watching me are entrepreneurs. Yes. <laughs> so creativity, we actually all know that creativity is an amazing asset, amazing source. Um, but when we're talking about like a bigger picture for the humanity, for the planet, I think this is the saving grace. We need to look into, um, you know, and kind of, encourage and support our own creative thinking in order to change what's happening right now because yes of course we need change right that is kind of obvious so um tell me about this guy you were talking about mr yeah, Har lee harris. yeah yeah so lee harris is a um he he's been you know giving intuitive readings for 20 years or something and he he channels his guides he's been channeling for over 20 years and he, I, I, I've been a part of his community for 10 years, probably. And I always feel uh, better when I listen to him. He does the energy update monthly. And then he, um, he has like a, you know, a private group of thousands and thousands of people. And 
he's just so grounded. He and I actually share a birthday, April 28th. So we said that his birthday together. So we're both Taurus, like very grounded. And are you Taurus too? Oh my God. Rising, Taurus rising. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and so, so it's like, you know, I just really love how he brings this bigger picture of not feeding the negative and focusing on what we're creating and managing our energy in the meantime, because, you know, stuff is coming to the surface to clear. And it's this time on earth is not for whims. Like we are spiritual warriors if we're here and we're here for a purpose. And so how do we show up for that for ourselves on a daily basis in community with each other, giving ourselves permission to be more fully who we are. And that's how we're going to get to where we want to go. Exactly. I love it. I love it. We should get uh, Lee Harris on our, in our project as well, because I mean, this is amazing. I love that, you know, every futurist that I had looked at, and of course, I, like I've been doing this work for 30 years and it's always when I started when I was 17 and with big workshops. And that was this little kid, very shy, very introversive, but I could share the visions. And I've just so strongly believed that, you know, this is what I've seen for, for the future. This is what I see is going to happen. And I was, you know, like so naive, so convinced, but that got me through in my life. And we were just before that sharing how much we traveled and how much we've done. And it's like, yeah, because if you follow your vision and your um, that dream that you have, when even when everybody would say, no, that's not possible. Like I came, you know, I was told you, I grew up in Estonia, and um, but that was Soviet Russia at the time. Oh. And, and people were asking uh, us at school, I was eight years old and they were asking, well, 2000 uh, is coming. Uh, so what is your vision for 2000? What are you gonna do in 2000? And I said, well, I'll be traveling the world. I'll be the teacher, you know, speaking to thousands of people. And, you know, so imagine, right, this little kid in a country where everything is closed down. You're told what to do. There's no businesses. There's no traveling. There's nothing like that, wow. even, even remotely. And teacher, I remember when she read my thing, she just looked at me with those sorry eyes, like, oh, poor kid, you know, poor kid. And there I was, uh, 2000 standing on uh, in London on the, on the, on the sort of overlooking this uh, the, the river the uh, you know the city the and in a foreign country in England right and already having I was say, saying that I will have two kids yes so I was just had my second baby I was a teacher you know as usual working with thousands of people and thinking it did happen because I just blindly had faith that it is possible for me. I, I, I yes. understand that maybe if you don't believe, that's okay. But I want you guys to believe in your future and, and invest in it and just go. Sometimes I'm going to show this card. Sometimes we just need to be this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that reminds me of, uh, of another thing I just learned about recently. Emmanuel Acho, he, he's the guy who did the amazing series of uh, videos on YouTube during the Black Lives Matter movement, or uh, he started it then, where he had the uncomfortable conversations with a Black man. Mm -hmm. And he wrote a book recently called Illogical. Uh-huh. And I just heard an a interview that Brene Brown did with him, and it's just the most gorgeous thing. And I want to read this quote. He says, being illogical is believing it is so, even when it's not so, so that it can be so. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, 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 yes. And I think about all the times in my life where I've, you know, I'm going to move to Hawaii, you know, like, and and I'm going to move back to North, I'm going to move to North Carolina, or I'm going to like, travel for nine months and see where I land, you know, and each of those times I was, it was such a, I was so compelled. It was just such a clear from within me of what to do that I didn't really have a choice, I feel like, you know, and yeah. it's so, it's, it, 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 you know, and I remember I went, I'm from rural East Tennessee, and I remember one time I was at home and I saw somebody I went to high school with at a store and she and I told her I moved to Hawaii and she was like how do you do that and I was like well I buy a ticket and pack a bag and I go <laughs> you know? 
<laughs> because it's just it's just who we are you know I know so, I love how you said that you were cool you know we were talking about how we ended up in our own places in the world and say so, you know I felt also that heart connection with the land and I never felt that before and I mm. love how you said I was cooled and I was like yes exactly that's the word sometimes when we are cooled this is the future pulling us forward and I hope that this project is going to inspire you guys to you know to have some faith in yourself have some faith in your work if you're doing if you're working on something sometimes your work can take your places as well so we we often think I'm so small I'm this little thing you know in Estonia I grew up in this tiny little town Estonia is tiny it's like three million people for the whole wow. country <laughs> yeah. wow. so, and you know and and uh, when I was thinking who I am and what I'm gonna do right it was those huge big dreams and like what and I was like well you know uh if I was thinking just of myself and me, little little kid is like, I'm, I, of course it sounds like it's impossible. But when I st stepped into my work and in my project, that's what really got me everywhere because it's like, yeah, it's, yeah. you just have to trust sometimes, trust something. Sometimes if you can't trust yourself, trust your work, trust. Yeah. And, you know, of course, you know, I think that kind of trust that we, you know sometimes we need to heal a lot of things to be able oh it's my husband coming with music danny i'm literally doing a live <laughs> this is our household okay this, this reminds me of um so i had this vision for a jewelry design business i had a jewelry design business that was gemstone based i did it for nine years and i would i would dream about jewelry like i would have visions of jewelry that was completely that were completely unique and i would like figure out how to make them you know so like the the visions i had were guiding my work and it was you know creating being created through me and i remember so then like you know nine years later uh at the end of in the middle of 2020 i was doing a lot of soul searching like a lot of people and uh and i decided to let go of the jewelry business and just do coaching and writing full time and uh, and teaching. And so and 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 like it didn't make any sense because it was a lucrative business and I had like all these things, but like I I I had no choice, like absolutely no choice. And so it was a matter of how I show up for that transition and saying yes to it and trusting it. And um, yeah, it's just, that's the way it works. It's the way things work, you know? I wanna share something that, I don't know if you've ever heard about this or not, but this is one of my favorite tools all time of coaching. I've been a coach for almost 20 years. Like I know a ton of tools. This tool is called Future Play. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, go have for it. Have you heard of this? I don't know. I have lots of also uh, like uh, things I do for like future visioning, future parties. We should do that. This that's what i'm talking about it's kind of a future party so a basically future party when you get together and hang out as your future self yeah yeah and, <laughs> you're, and you're pretending like it's a year from now and we're talking as yeah. if we're in a year from now this tool so i was living in santa cruz california and my my colleague and i would meet every week and we would vision living in hawaii and and so every week we would talk about living in hawaii and visiting each other and going to see the dolphins and all these things you know Fast forward, like, I don't know how many, like two years later, three years later, and we were all, I was visiting her on the big island and I was like, oh my God. And I had already lived in Maui for a while and she'd already been there for, for me. And I was like, we're here. Like we, we're here. Like we did it, you know? <laughs> and all the details weren't exact as what we thought, but like the feeling state was what got us there you know and just that that really strong faith and trust and finding a way yeah 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 it's uh, actually you know what i'm thinking let's do this next week because i know a couple of people are gonna jump in on the zoom next week which we which is just chatting about the future and inspiring people and ourselves for god's sake like yes <laughs> you know so we can do why don't we do a future party we're gonna all guys we're gonna show up um i don't know what time i'm thinking because i did promise people 9 a.m my time so that would be three what day? prior to this yeah on on um in a week whatever the date is and 
Uh, so I have nine o'clock in my because I, I checked my schedule so I can do so that. Three I know my schedule. time. I can do that. Uh huh. And then we come in same Zoom link. So whoever's going to get the Zoom link and I announced it already. So people are like me, me. So but now why don't we show up as in the year? We're going to we have to dress up, guys, dress up. <laughs> like, I want the attitude. I want the talk. <laughs> I want the whole, the whole entourage around you guys. The way of being. The year. And we're going to just speak from that place, guys. And if you want to join us, join us. Mm -hmm. And if you want to just watch us and then do a little future party in your own house, invite your friends and just indulge and make it happen, guys. It's, it's going to happen because you know what? Yeah, I had the same thing with my house now in Hawaii. I had the same thing. It's been on my, uh, you know, desktop, like the, the, the picture of me looking into the ocean with this tropical thing. I was, I was living in California. It wasn't bad, but it, I didn't have the view. <laughs> I didn't yeah. have <laughs> like that. So, uh, but yes, I'm living right now in that house. So, That's okay. Great. So I'm not, in, it. it's totally happening. So, um, yeah. So we're doing that guys next week. So join us. It's the 20th. Perform. The 20th, 9 a.m. Uh, Hawaii time, 3 p.m. Eastern time. 20th, yes, I have 9, 9 a.m. So I know Sierra's coming. Sierra is amazing. She's, uh, she's, uh, like, she's got amazing social um, enterprise and uh, sustainable business. Like amazing, amazing. I just done an interview with her uh, like a week ago, something like that. <laughs> so we're all jumping in and it's just, guys, very spontaneous right now we're collaborating and we're creating basically an inspiration i've noticed that for myself two years of doom and gloom i felt i needed some uh, um i needed to look forward to something you absolutely know? I needed yes. to look forward to something and future is just so healing and i think and when you said positive i was like yeah this is when we need to go live we need to share that because mm -hmm. guys we all need this. We all need getting out of this hopelessness, you know, because yeah, I, and, and I and totally I, get it. It's, I get no, it. It, it is collaboration. And I just want to, I'm just going to say to everybody. So Lyra and I were on the phone or on Zoom for like five minutes and she invited me. No, maybe 10 minutes. I think we talked about Hawaii for a while. Maybe 10 minutes. We just met. <laughs> she invited me on this and so I just want to acknowledge your trust and your intuition and trusting me and just diving in and just being willing to create spontaneously and so that's just such a beautiful thing and I really appreciate that about you so thank you for <laughs> thank you that. yeah absolutely yeah, this is how we're all yeah yeah I, this is how, but you know I think um that's what I'm actually noticing with futurists there's a lot of there's a huge vibe like that as soon as I even mentioned that I'm going to be doing this project. I just said it, it was Saturday. I mean, whatever, I don't know what day is today, Wednesday. Wednesday so yeah. on Saturday, I had, you know, my, I definitely have visions, downloads, like what's not. So I was like, oh, I'm doing this. I just said it on LinkedIn, guys, out of all places. And I was literally swarmed by invitations. I want, I want, when I'm looking out, who are those people? Those are amazing, amazing. Those are, startups the companies tech like everything that is happening and they have many connections so we're going to bring you guys virtual reality startups that are already educating people creating the you know new workplaces and it's just so cool and that's i'm feeling the vibe of, of creativity innovation collaboration spontaneous um projects that are just but like literally here so yeah so thank you jen we're gonna we're My gonna be, uh, showing up in our entourage next week doing the future party i can't wait <laughs> <laughs> all right guys well thank you so much jen so we're gonna continue and you guys are welcome to join us next week and if you want to obviously uh submit your vi vision for the future because this is my plan is it's all in making but i'm thinking 10 minute video talk about your vision for the future some people who responded and immediately wanted to jump in they thinking they're going to talk about the industry you know so for example this is where medicine is going a lot of scientists are showing up right this is where science is going right now this is where technology this is where business goes 
Um, so it's all good. Or you can talk about your personal vision for the future, because this is, I feel, you know, it's, it's just elevates your energy when you started looking forward to something good, mm -hmm. because it's going to be good if you're going to make effort. That's and all you're tapping into possibility, which allows innovation and creativity and connection. And, you know, the nervous system has two, two channels, contraction or expansion. And it's so easy to get caught up in the, in the contraction that is, and if you focus on that, that's where you'll be. And it doesn't mean don't like hide in your, you know, hide your head, but it's like how to, how to just step into that possibility and just live from that place with that intention, you know? Um, I had a client today who's an astrologer and this week's huge in astrology because something happened yesterday that's like massive, like this once in a lifetime, the biggest thing of the year really. And, um, and it's keeping on happening, but she talked about how, her name is Liz Gunn. She's an amazing astrologer. And she talked about like how the vision is pulling us forward. Like we're stepping into this next thing that we're made for. And this is the beginning of the next thing. And it's like our, our future is meeting us actually. And yeah. I just love that. It's like heaven and earth. Like, you know, it's just such a beautiful place to be. And I'm, I'm, I'm celebrating this new beginning and new connections and the catalyst energy that's here, you know, it's so, yeah. it's so sparky. It's so like, yeah, let's go, you know? <laughs> no, I know. I know. Yes. I actually, yes. I'm definitely attuned to cosmic energies. I've, I've noticed that before, you know, my friend was an amazing scientist, high level. And she kept telling me about astrology years back and i was like oh god astrology no no don't don't like, i'm not gonna start now you know <laughs> and then like after two years of nagging i was like okay let's look into it and that and then i was like oh and so of course she's like as a scientist she goes into this whole the gadgets and the, she was like lira look and she's like lira look at when you and your husband met in paris which was a total miracle who is now playing music out there crazy oh they <laughs> dancing oh my god okay danny i'm literally live <laughs> interview. so and she was like showing me <laughs> you see i mean this is what we have this that's is what great. I, I love it it's very lively <laughs> so, he's not naked guys i mean that's that sometimes <laughs> like yeah like, danny i'm on a call you know <laughs> it's like a real estate show uh and she was like literally look it's in your charts. There is a day when you, it's like, I was like, oh my gosh, like, how is it possible? So now I'm like, okay, let's just look into it. And I know right now is a really, really important time for everybody. It's like, we have to, we have to pull ourselves forward. It's important, yeah. It's yeah. important because the next couple of years that are coming are going to be informed by this energy. So jump with us guys. And yes, right I, I want to share a quote real quick from uh, Michael, Dr. Michael Beckwith. It says, um, pain pushes until vision pulls. Yeah, vision pulls. So the vision is the key. I just love that. It makes my whole body relax thinking about it. Delicious. <laughs> yes, it's like, yeah, vision pulls. Yeah, that's where we are, guys. So obviously, like I said, if you want to come and join us and actually submit your, your 10 minute video or little text, like, I don't know, whatever, we're going to create something. I'm not sure yet how some people want to do podcasts i've never had a podcast so i'm a little bit kind of like oh that's so much work but we'll see however we're gonna do it we're gonna do it and you can find out more on my website guys just find uh, you know me so and just sort of submit your stuff and jump in i don't have any mailing lists guys i don't typically write to people but just find us wherever we are on social media because we are so all right <laughs> next week we're gonna see jen we're gonna see sierra whoever else is coming and we're going to have a future party and we want to wait all right